What's up, CJ crew? It's your boy Chris. And it's Jay. And, and welcome, welcome back to, to the Chris and Jay Way. Today, I mean, you guys already seen the title, so you guys are probably wondering, like, what are you talking about? You weren't specific, and what do you mean? How long What's should going you on? wait? Like, how long should you wait? How long should you how wait? How long should you wait? wait? How long should you wait? Not forever, I know that. <laughs> We're gonna be talking about a few topics. We're just gonna be jumping from topic to topic and we're just gonna be having a discussion. So if we said something in the video that you may not agree on or you probably agree on it, but you have like different thoughts. Yeah, you wanna add just, some more to it? Yeah, let us know in the comments Tell us because what's going on. The topics we're talking about is all opinion based. It's all, all based. on the individual. This is Chris' opinion. This is Jay' opinion. Yeah, this it's is no not right, anywhere. right. It's, it's no right or wrong answer. So it's all opinion, no facts. So we're just gonna be talking about it. Open discussion. But Let's... I feel like we have to go factual, so you know, hey. Okay. Fact check me. Let's talk about it. Don't forget to um, like. Comment, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to what, to come, come check, check us out. out. Let them know about the Chris and Jay way, y'all. And hit that bell while you at it so you can be yep. notified when, every time we post a video. Every time. We All do right. not have a specific day, yeah. day when we post videos. So you want to get it when we do it. Yeah, so, so you can at least expect two a week. So two videos each week. But when you gotta have that bell on, yeah. exactly to be exclusive. The first topic is for discussion is how long should you wait to meet your parents, the individual's parents? You wanna go first? Ladies first. You always do all that. Right, all right, I'll go, okay, I'll go first, so, I'll go first. You know, I, okay. I'll, I'll set the tone, you know, I'll go ahead and do that. So how long should you wait to meet each other's parents? I say you wait at least one year. A year? A year? Alright. That's mad long. You I would can't, say, I can't would say, wait a year Okay, okay. Me. No, but for real, I say wait three to four months. Three to four months. Yeah. That's well, I, think, I think that's very reasonable because at least in the first 60 days, which is two months, depending on so we, you know, it depends. That'll give you enough time to know if this person quality enough to meet your parents. Right. You don't want to even tell your parents yeah. about them like within the first two weeks. And it doesn't sure. work out. And it's like, dang, like every other week you got a new girl, you got a new boy that you're introducing right. me to. So, so you don't want to do it too soon. Yeah. Just because you want to be sure. And you don't want to um, like bring home a lot of different people to right. your family. Because then right? eventually they're going to be like, every, every, the right person may come to the house and to, in their eyes, they're going to watch just somebody. Yeah, that's another so, one. So you don't even want to put nobody in that position. Yeah. So uh, three, to, three, three to four months, that's sufficient. Now I don't think I was just joking when I said a year. I don't think it should go that long because if you if you gotta wait till a year to bring somebody home, then that person might not be the one for you. Yeah, that's a year. That's a long yeah. time. I don't care if you got strict parents, cool parents. A year, that's a long time. Yeah. If I win the year, I'm... Bye. how long? In my opinion, you should wait. And it looks like my fiance agrees with me. You yeah. Agree? Yeah. How long I wait to meet your parents? Let's see. Like three months. It was four. Oh, see, three, four months. Four, yeah. So, yeah. How long should you wait to talk about being engaged, getting married, and all of that? I'm a pro at this, so I'm gonna let you go first. You're a pro. I'm a pro at this. Mm, okay. You see, I'm a pro at this. <laughs> However, this is a question that kind of, I feel like the woman kind of persuades the question to be asked. So. Not really. Well, it's both. It's both. However, I'll go ahead we kind of feed off that energy. That even though you know I might be ready, I gotta feed off your energy to see if you're ready. If, if you're in that space, yeah. vice versa. But however, how did you go? So, how long should you wait to talk about being engaged and all of that? I feel like um, if you're in a serious relationship, like you're intentionally dating. If you haven't checked out our video on intentional dating. Make sure you go ahead and check that out and then come back and finish this video, okay? We might hide card up here. If not, yeah. check it. It looks like this. 
So, um, in regards to speaking or discussing um, getting married, being engaged, all of that, I feel like if the relationship, you know, is intentional and you guys are serious and you guys are mature about, you know, what you expect, then I feel like you really can talk about engagement within like six months. Right. It's, yeah. and, and I would say, because that's laying out your expectations of what you want from their relationship. If it's yeah. a little play play, then you know, don't bring it up. Yeah, if you right. just talking to that person right. with no intentions right. of being married. If it's a just married, for, for the moment thing, then don't yeah. talk about it. But if you plan on being with this person down the line, alone, Jimmy, then bring it up. Yeah. I feel like we, well, I mentioned um, engagement within a year of us, you know, dating because I felt like, you know, just being in a relationship and just talking, getting to know him, I felt like, of course, I can see myself getting married to him in the future, having kids, so it's like, if you can see yourself heading in that direction, you do want to bring it up because yeah. you don't want to sit here because what if it's like a situation where your partner doesn't feel the same way about being married so you don't want to sit in that relationship like two three right. years down the line you, and then he doesn't even want to get married yeah you expected something to happen and it's just not it's gonna never happen. gonna so, happen uh, yeah and, and talking about it early on also Say if that person's not interested in getting married, then y'all go ahead and break it off. Yeah. Know, end of so. Like, never stay in that relationship if that person right. cannot meet your expectations. Right. Like, you're just setting yourself up for failure. Yeah. It's not going to work. It's not. And you're going to yeah. be miserable. Yeah. And you're going to be wishing mm -hmm. and waiting. Yeah. And, and yeah. yeah. So, no. <laughs> All right. Next topic is. Um, how long should you wait to move in together? Sorry, y'all, that's my alarm. I would say at least a year. At least a year. Wait a year? Yeah, at least a year of serious dating. Now, you can include your talking stages if you feel like in the talking stages you are very serious, but I say from the date that you officially become a couple up until a year should be a minimum until you move in to meet each other. Because, I mean, after a year, you're going to know if this is the person that you want to be with. And then after a year, if you guys have discussed talking about, you know, Being getting engaged married. and married, yeah. that gives you the opportunity, you know, to live with this person, see how this person is. And that way, throughout that next year, however long it takes you to ask that question, then you know for a fact that this is your, that person for you. So, yeah. a year of dating move in for a year and after that you should know so yeah and it it, it all depends on the person opinionated too. that was opinionated yeah it all depends on the person um because what we dated well we were in college when yeah. we initially started dating so our situation is different like you have to take into consideration when you started dating yeah. and what stage of life that you were in because if you dated when you guys started you guys started dating in like high school, then of course you're not gonna move in after a year because yeah. it just depends <laughs> on the yeah. person. But in like a um, in a adult um, relationship, when you guys are mature, you both have your own careers, whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, dating for a year and moving in together is, you know, pretty much ideal. But it depends on the person and where you where you are in life, yeah. and you know. So it all depends. Um, but yeah, and I do recommend um, living together before marriage because you get to see how that person live um, and you get to see if you really want to be with this person for real because obviously when you're married, you're going to be living together. And if you can't live with this person while you're um, in the dating stage or in the engagement stage and then you just rush to oh we're married so we're living together it's mm -hmm. like you yeah. don't really you don't you know don't, that person you yeah don't, you don't, don't have person. time to fill them out you don't right. have time to like change your you mind good, if you need bad, to. you know because you went there and right. now you you legally bind it now so i mean it's right. like only one way out of that to go right getting the board right. and it's like you just wasted your time and my mom she always told me like to live with to know a person and to live with them is two different things yes. like it's two different things so 
Um, we recommend living together before marriage. Obviously, we did it. We're doing it right now, so. <laughs> So yeah, yeah. And uh, just a point of, you know, just uh, sum up a question that may be out there. We know we said after a year of moving together, and some people might say, well, if you're living here and I'm living there, I got my own space. How do you figure out, you know, where to where, move. where to move to? I mean, yeah. that's just a conversation y'all have amongst yourselves. Yeah. Um, there's no right or wrong. Like, yeah. I'm a reason to it. You know, discuss what works better for you two. You know, mm -hmm. and yeah. Because, as you guys know, I was in Atlanta, and he was in Nashville, is in Nashville, and I moved from Atlanta to Nashville. So, it depends on you and, you know, yeah. what you guys discuss on Just have that conversation. Decide. Don't just yeah. make one person feel like they got to move here or there. Y'all talk it out as adults and, you know, come to some common ground there. So, yeah. Yeah. And it was easier for me to move than for him to move, so. Worked out. How long should you be engaged? So, <laughs> um, I don't I, feel okay. Go ahead, go ahead. Look, you know, you're ready. You know, you're ready. She <laughs> said, <laughs> 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 um, so this is like obviously no right or wrong answer, but um, shoot, you can wait however long you want to wait. Um, I feel like it goes into the the type of wedding you want or if you guys are waiting to be more financially stable before you get married or if you, you're trying to wait until you get a house. Like, it just all depends. Yeah, it's a lot of factors that play in the yeah. place there. But um, there's no time frame. Me personally, I would say no more than two years for me. Yeah, that's just me same. And, that, and that's just part of you know planning what you want to do as far as the wedding you know mm -hmm. not rushing into something i mean some people do it in a year some people do it in shorter but i think two years should be just kind of that point of okay you should have a plan on when you're about to get married yeah so, you know and then too like i want to enjoy my engagement like it's like a different feeling like when you move from being boyfriend and girlfriend to being engaged like it's it's a different feeling so you just <laughs> you just want to enjoy that you know time yeah. frame and then obviously getting married that's like a next big thing that's like so woo, woo, that's like yeah a big party. So you want to enjoy <laughs> you want to enjoy your um stages you want to enjoy your journey um never feel pressured to like rush into something that you know you don't want to do because at the end of the day it's going to be you and your partner and if you're not happy don't rush into anything yeah and just to kind of you know talk to the people who may have rushed into being engaged now that two years there may kind of be a little you know weird on your timeline because you rushed into you know getting engaged and now you're in the stage of trying to get to know this person so yeah. You can kind of look at that time out a bit, little bit longer for you there, but still, after two years, you should know, like, okay, we're at this two-year mark. Okay, we're gonna start planning a wedding after a year, or you know, another two years. So that way, you took two years to get to know that person yeah. as your fiance. Now you're moving towards your wedding. So just yeah. for the, it is nothing wrong rushing into you know being engaged. It works for some people. Some people, yeah, it doesn't, so. and it all depends. Yeah. Like I said, it all depends on that person and where you are in right. life. If you are mature enough to handle being engaged for right. or being together for like two months and then rushing and not rushing, right. being or, engaged for like two months and then moving yeah. into marriage. Or, like, it, just or it can be a little situation where it was just love at first sight. You know, right? Y'all right. both were just like, boom, I know it. So let's do yeah, it. Yeah, let's do yeah, it. Sure. Let's do it. And then too, relate. like. <laughs> Time waits on no one. It so if you time. know she's the do one, it. or if you know he's the one, go ahead and do it. Tomorrow is not promised. It's not. It's so not. go for it. Live and I life. feel like live your best life. Really? Yes. <laughs> Times are different now. I feel yes. like back in the days, um, people used to wait like a very long time before they, um, you know, got engaged, got married. Nowadays, people are just like doing it. Like really? if you know that's the one, just do it. Really? They waited long back then? I felt oh, well, I don't know. I feel been. like after, after a week, they was married back then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Look, after a week, they was married. Three months later, they had 10 kids. So, hey. Oh, not 10 kids. <laughs> I don't know about that. Look, but uh, um, um, all seriousness, you know, it, it, 
it's all just on your timing. It's yes. all about how you communicate with your partner there. It's all about how you feel, where you are in your life, where your love is. And trust your timing, y'all. Don't rush anything. Don't look at any one situation and try to, you know, have, yeah, like, don't do that. So it's all on you and where you are as a couple and obviously as an individual as well. So yeah, I just got one question for y'all. How long should you wait? Like, how long leave it in the comments down wait? below. Yes, Tell us something, us know. you know, let us know. If yes. you watch this video, comment how long should you wait? Like hashtag it, do it however you want to do it, put an exclamation point, you know, let us know. Talk to us, CJ Crew. We want to know. Let us know. Um, Talk back to us. Yeah. It's a conversation. You know, if you disagree with something we said, let us know. Yeah, because, okay. you know, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it with, you know, like I say, this is opinionated. We are all entitled to our opinions. Yes. We all got different views and outlooks on things. So, mm -hmm. you know, that, that's just how long should you wait? You know, you got something else you want to add? No, that's it. I mean, if I think about something else, we can always... <laughs> what? Okay, no, we're not even gonna talk about that. So, um, if we think of any more um, like scenarios or topics on how long should you wait, or if you guys have another scenario or topic that you think that we should discuss, it. let us know, we and we'll probably right do back here and do, and do a part two. Do a part two. Yes. Yeah, so, let us know. As always, thank you guys so much for watching us. Thank you, you guys for you. sharing our video. Thank you so much, y'all. We see you. We acknowledge it. We thank everybody. Yes. And, you know, We're on the road to 2K subscribers. On the road to 2K. 2K, y'all. Don't mind my nails. I'm just out here. It's okay, baby. Just being <laughs> rough. I have a nail appointment on Saturday. On so. Saturday? Yes. So, like I said, get us to 2K subscribers. Get to 2K. So, we will catch y'all back in the next video. Stay tuned. You yes. know it's going to be a good one. We always give you good videos. So... We'll check back in with y'all later. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and tell a friend. To tell a friend. To tell a friend. To tell a about friend. Chris and Jay Boo, because that's the only way. The All only right? way. Yeah.